Welcome to MF Flips. I'm Matt. I'm a part-time reseller. And that's what you're going to see on this channel. So I just got this awesome slob poster from Josh and Haley. So today, we're going to be a slob. Everyone does it. Do I need to do that to know that you're transitioning to the video? I can't help myself. Well, it's time to head to work. Just got off work, time to source. So I always start at the shoes now, do a quick scan and grab a few pairs before anybody else can. Then I make my way up to the toy aisle. Uh, there's a couple like, mystery bags, or not mystery, I guess you can see through them, but some bags of toys, nothing looked too old. And I just kind of scan through, check out anything I see that's interesting, but don't find anything in the toy aisle today. Then eventually, I make my way to clothes, it's kind of my last thing I get to. After I go through sporting goods and electronics, I'm focusing right now on sweatshirts and flannels. Just going through, seeing what I can find. And flannels, looking for anything good. I'm uh, really hoping to score a Dixon one day. It's a really good brand of flannel to look out for. Uh, but Carhartt, Patagonia, anything good. Found this nice Orvis full zip wool sweatshirt with elbow pads. Got this Purpose Tour shirt. I'm pretty sure it's a Justin Bieber, but I couldn't find this exact one. I just really like the way that the cities are in a cross on the back. So I got to look into this a little more. Um, then I got this nice polo rugby style shirt with an embroidered crest on the front. I got this pair of ultra running shoes, a pair of Nike SB uh, Paul Rodriguez 9s, this pair of wool Pendleton shoes, and these Nike slip-ons that are a sample, I'd say not for resale, so it's pretty interesting to me. Here's my listing, I figure I'll list high and wait for some offers. Then I got these Brooks running shoes, and I forgot what model they were. So let's start listing. So nothing special here. Put the shoe trees in. Makes the shoe look nice and full. Get some good photos. And then repeat the process over and over again. These are those P-Rods, nice Nike SB. And again and again, rinse and repeat. I think you get the idea. Here's my setup for shirts. I do have one of the little half torso mannequin things, but hangers are so much easier. And clothing is kind of my last thing I like to list, so I'm never really excited to do it. But this is a pretty cool shirt.
So organization. So I got this big shelf with bins and I got the shelves labeled one, two, three, four, five. And then the bins will be A, B, C, so on and so forth. That way when I use the custom SKU, I would say one A, one B, blah, blah, blah. Now this box of hats really needs to go back behind that bag. I just had a bunch of hats to list, so I had this box sitting out. I got shoes that need to be put away. And this bin is G2, which means it should be in the garage for the garage bin 2. And then this box also became part of G2. So this is completely out of hand. i got to get this stuff organized. This is crazy. And the quick trick is just to... And it's that simple. The rest of the downstairs is a mess. But I actually pulled some of these bins out to see how much space I had in them. And took that extra box... The, the G2 box and put them, you know, separate all the shoes out and put them in. They used to have to go through and change all my listings to update the SKUs, but well worth it. So this is my first year of, you know, taking this serious as a business. But my bookkeeping is old school. I just get my bank statement and I highlight each transaction because um, I have a separate bank account just for reselling and then I go through and I see what what was the payment to me what did I spend on inventory and what did I spend on supplies I attach all my receipts and I do I kind of outline each month that way then at the end of the year I'll put all the numbers together and see what I got um, and that's what I'm doing for this year next year I'm gonna um, get an LLC and kind of do it right and see find a better way to track it but this is what I'm doing for this year so if you follow those steps and get an awesome poster from Josh and Haley you too can be a slob thanks for watching God bless peace